My hair is revolutionary. My hair is empowering. My hair is flawless. My hair is better than the creamy crack. My hair is fun. My hair is confident. My hair is beautiful. My hair is me. Today's society, natural hair in the black community is looked at as, oh, she just wants to be different or, oh, good for her. I think society views natural hair as unruly and not professional. We could walk into an interview with our hair poofy or in a natural crazy style to the side or just up or just out like an afro. Um, but a white person could walk into an interview with a crazy high color like pink or purple streaks and not be viewed as unprofessional. I remember one time my sister was like, I don't want to be outside because I don't want to get as dark as daddy and my dad is brown skin and he's browner than me. And then she started going into like, and I don't want my hair scraggly. I want it straight and all pretty. And I don't understand where she's getting this from. I feel like she's watching it on TV and that's all she sees. All the actresses she watches that are on Disney Channel are mostly white. And then the black girls are like the best friend or their friend to the side or something that might have, you know, crinkly hair. In my opinion, I think that natural hair is such a new concept that it's evolving every day. Some people see natural hair as like, stupid or like unprofessional but since it's coming around more people see natural hair as like a good thing honestly i think it's like more of a mixed response these days i think more people are starting to gradually accept natural hair but i think a lot of people still have their what they're used to as west norm which is straight hair i feel like people are more accepting now since it's more people are going natural there's more natural videos it's more of a thing but i think there's also people are like oh natural hair isn't for everybody oh you go natural if you have good hair, if you have the curly, loose texture, not like the 4C hair. In today's society, I think, like anything else, there are mixed reviews. I think now people are more so embracing natural hair um, of, all, <laughs> of all races, especially our own. Um, there is now a movement to be natural, and I think that is beautiful. Do you feel pressure to change it around here um, or in the workplace? Not in the workplace, not in my academic life. Socially, I do feel pressure sometimes to change it just because I've had it or I've had this style for so long. People are, they, they want to see a change. People like to see new things sometimes. But I don't know, I just, I like my hair like this more than anything. So if I do change it, it won't be because I felt like I had to, it would be, oh, I kind of, I wanted to change up and do something different. I have felt pressured to keep it straight and then use um, products to make it curled or products, um, equipment to like a curling iron or Marcel's to keep it curled and manageable. I did wear a perm in my college years, like, around 19, 20, 21 years of age, and it was murder on my scalp and my hair, and I raced to take it out. So I finally learned what my hair could tolerate, and back in the day when Jerry Curl or Curl Carefree Curls were in style, I could wear those, and it managed my hair very well. And now I just find that braids or either pressing my hair with the hot comb, like from Madam C.J. Walker. I use that line of heating device to keep it straight when I want to. I don't feel pressure to change my hair. Um, well, now I don't, but like when I first went natural and I was doing natural hairstyles like Bantu knots or um, braid outs, my mom would be like, when are you gonna straighten your hair? And I'm like, well, this is cute. What do you mean? like?" I can straighten it when I feel like it, you know? I don't always have to have it straight. I'm not trying to rebel. I'm not trying to, 
be an outcast. I'm not trying to do none of that. I'm just doing what I can with my hair. The community of natural girls that rock the fro or braid outs or twist outs, I feel like it's pressure from the newcomers because like, okay, they did their big chop and they're rocking the little fro. And it's like, you look at the girls that's been natural for like eight years and their stuff is like out here. And then those girls with the little fro's go by um, weaves that are already big, you know? And I'm like, that's defeating the purpose of you embracing what you have. I would say I'm more pressured by the older generation who do not know much about natural hair, like my grandparents or my parents. My mom definitely does not understand the concept of having natural hair because she's had her hair chemically processed all the time. Um, I'll go to her, like my house or whatever and I'll have my hair exactly like this. And she's like, I'm so tired of seeing your hair like that. Why don't you straighten your hair? Why don't you dye your hair? Why don't you do something to your hair? And I'm just like, I like my hair how it is, but thanks anyway. And um, I think that people who don't really understand the concept of having natural hair want you to like conform to the norms of having different types of hair. My boss has bomb natural hair, okay? Bomb, okay? And she and I had a conversation about being natural in the workplace. And that was the first time I ever had, and that was the first time I was ever um, presented with the, you know, the question of, is being natural professional? Like, is wearing a puff not professional like I'm not a businesswoman if I have you know my hair and a twist out and um, I think that is going to be the next leap for naturals um, finding a balance of being professional but still being very natural because if my hair is big I personally am not going to tie my hair up in a knot to go to work I'm not I'm not going to have it outrageously huge but I don't, I don't want to feel pressured to alter it in some way so that the people around me who call themselves professionals feel more comfortable. Because again, that's not me being natural. I wouldn't say I've ever felt pressure to change it. I've had women in my family say like negative things, not specifically about my hair, but just about natural hair in general. And it made me feel kind of, I'm gonna say, it felt a little bit insecure because that's when I was still had my TWA. And I really did not know my, hair texture has not really it wasn't fully formed yet so I didn't know how it would look and I didn't want for women like specifically my grandma she came from she comes from an older generation so perms is all they knew like it's just you got a perm as a black woman you didn't wear your hair natural I did, I'll wear my hair in a big fro and I wouldn't care how anybody feels about it or I'll wear it more defined or I'll wear a twist out or a braid out, braid out. I don't care I don't care Or natural, I don't know if natural is for you. But um, other than that, now that I got it cut, she's more accepting of it. She's like, oh, your hair is growing in the back now and stuff like that. And she likes it, or she doesn't say she doesn't like it. So I'm gonna say she likes it. Have I ever been pressured to change my hair? No. My hair has actually been inspirational to others with the creamy crack. <laughs> um, a lot of people come up to me and say, do you have a, you know, a texturizer in your hair? Or do you have, what do you have in your hair? And I'll say, nothing. It's my natural hair. They say, man, I wish my hair would do that. And I'll just explain to them, like, you can, you know. I came from relaxed hair. And I don't think I would ever change it because my hair is already fine. So to put that chemical, knowing what it does to your hair, back in my hair, I never Pressure? No. I actually pressure people to come out of the creamy crack. I embrace my natural hair by doing whatever I want to with it. And I say that because I can. Like, my hair can crinkle, my hair can curl, my hair can be straight if I wanted to. The other races, 
that have natural hair and it's straight. It's like that's all they can do with it. And I feel like we're unique. I can do whatever I want to with my hair. I embrace my natural hair by keeping it natural. <laughs> um, I don't straighten it often. I don't conform. This is not a conformity, as you can see. I embrace it by wearing it and showing and loving it on a daily basis. I just like wearing sewing because it helps my natural hair grow. Like when it's braided up, it just gets like real thick. Like, like my hair grow a lot. So I just keep it braided up and I don't like wearing like cornrows and no braids and nothing. Mostly I like to wear my hair out in twist outs. And that's how I embrace my hair. I love wearing it out. I love the reaction people get when they see my hair. It's really vilifying and it's validating. <clears throat> um, I stopped getting perms probably about seven or eight months ago and I've been wearing protective styles every once since. I did the big chop maybe like two months ago but I guess I'm not really used to the, the small fro yet and I like it more and more as it grows and I like it now but I, I think it's just easier for me to do protective styles because I haven't learned my hair yet. And the world to me embracing my natural hair wasn't very long because again I felt like you made this a challenge now. So of course, you know, of course I'm going to do it. But um it just it was just about getting getting the hang of something that was mine. And I think that journey um it taught me so much more about myself than hair. Like it, it taught me about <laughs> consistency because when you first go natural you first cut off you know your transitioning ends depending if you big chop or not, um, you have to be consistent with it. You have to, you have to learn, you have to learn your hair. And um, again, that was something that I had never done. So it taught me about taking care of myself in a way that I didn't before. And it taught me about embracing something of mine that people were going to have mixed reviews about. But um, again, it was me. So <laughs> I did it and I love it. And I am always encouraging people to do so as well. Still learning because of the negative stigma that has been attached to African American women's hair since slavery, that it could be nappy or wooly. However, now I'm beginning to appreciate the multi textures that I have with my hair because I can wear versatile styles. I can um, wear it straight I can wear it blow dry and just wear it blow dry and in a curly pattern or a straight pattern I can wear braids in it um, I can do almost anything with my hair I'm actually a hairstylist um, a licensed hairstylist just find new ways to, to deal with it. I, I, I try new things to see what works with my hair and what doesn't. Some days it turns out good, some days it, it doesn't turn out the way you thought it would be, but you just keep playing with it. That's the only way you can get to know your hair. So you say your hair sounds like for real, bro? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So why I wasn't did you, lying. Why did you tell me that? I mean, in hair school, we weren't trained on natural hair. We were trained to put the creamy crack in natural hair. I feel like natural hair is a lot better than chemically straightened hair. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but it like it made me stronger in who I am. It like made me embrace myself more. It like showed me who I am, basically. I love seeing naturals with bomb hair at Clayton State to be like, you know what, girl? Cause I know, can I know what that took last night? I know you twisted your hair until midnight, okay? You got up at eight so you can untwist it, you need it to fluff for an hour, I know, okay? So I think I think there's a, a good amount of naturals here at Clayton State. And what I do love is, I love that everybody who's natural here is, um, is so different. Like I see this girl, she lives in Laker Hall and she has natural hair and her hair is like different colors. And for some reason, like, I love seeing her. At Clayton State, you see so many different shades of being natural, and I think that is beautiful. I definitely feel that people at Clayton State accept natural hair. I mean, 
nobody says anything about it, maybe because we're a predominantly black school, I think. <laughs> but nobody says anything to me. I might get this side look maybe once or twice or something by um, another black girl that has straight hair or a dude that's looking at me like, what's wrong with her hair? There's other girls that have hair like me, so why should I care? But I feel like by accepting it, they're not saying anything. Honestly, I feel, I don't, I feel like it's pretty accepted here. I've seen a lot of girls with natural hair on campus, so I don't think there is. If there is anyone who feels like somebody should be natural or they don't have the right type of texture, they don't vocalize it. Not to me. Like, I've always gotten compliments from people on campus about my hair, but I think that it's just like the way it is anywhere else. Natural has become a lot more common. Right. So if anything, people, people are getting used to it. And I think as the years progress, it's going to be like that. More black women are going natural. And if, if you don't even realize that people are natural because they may either have braids in or a weave. So it's actually more than you even realize. Yeah, it took me a long time to realize that my roommate was natural until she just took her weave out one day. But yeah, she's everyone's really open to talk about natural. Like, what do you do to your hair? What kind of products do you use? I think a lot more people are really accepting of it. And like she said, if they aren't accepting of it, if you don't hear about it, or if people aren't really vocal about it. I would say people at Clayton State University definitely, you know, accept your natural hair because there are so many people around here with natural hair, guys and girls. Um, no one's ever said anything to me about my natural hair being bad or good or anything in that way. I accept natural hair whether you have weave, whether you know you're fully natural, whether you have an afro or whatever. Um, there's nothing wrong with it here. I feel like natural hair is accepted at Clayton State. Um, just because you see so many different people, you have no choice but to accept it. Um, I've had a perm pretty much my whole life. I got a perm when I first was two years old. So I never knew my natural hair texture. And growing up, I didn't even realize that black women had naturally curly hair. I just thought that I heard it was straight and I didn't understand the purpose of a perm. I just thought it was a and I didn't have to put two and two together until I got older. I saw like, girls in my classroom who didn't have perm and they had curly hair and I always felt like I wish my hair could do that but I didn't I thought that they just had naturally curly hair just the same way it is like with other race of women how some women have curly hair and some have straight hair I thought it was the same way with black women that some of us had straight hair and some of us had curly hair so I didn't realize that my hair curled naturally too without a perm and I didn't start wanting to go natural until like when I, I think I was in my freshman year college where my hair was just it was really damaged from heat and getting perms it was breaking off like it wouldn't grow past my shoulders so I just knew that I had to do something and when I went natural it wasn't like a it wasn't revolutionary for me it wasn't like a I want to get in touch with my roots it just I wanted to get rid of this damaged hair so I big chopped like at the transition for I think seven months and I loved it immediately even though I was not used to having short hair my hair was big like When I was born, I came out with this big, like, tight afro, and I guess I had, like, tight curly hair from the beginning, and everyone always talked about how I had bad hair, so they gave me a perm really early. I had perm probably at, like, 2, and I just kept getting perms all my life because I was always told I have bad hair, so I was so scared of just letting my natural hair grow out. So eventually, everyone in my family went natural, and it I was I kind of wanted to go natural, but then I was kind of scared that the fact that, oh, what if my hair is bad? What if my hair doesn't look like theirs? Everyone else has better hair than me, and I kind of just let that go because then I realized there is no bad hair. It's just hair that's healthy is good hair, and my ends were breaking off, and I was getting perms just for that fear, so I eventually did stop getting perms for a while, for about six months, and then six I did my big chop which is cut off all the permed ends and just leave the natural and I started growing that for a little while and I've been growing it for about two months since then but overall it's probably about eight months since I've gotten a perm and I love my natural hair now I love it more and more every day I love it as it grows out I get protective styles just purely to not have to deal with it so much because it is a lot more maintenance but I love the way it looks and I love having it 
and I love the experience of getting to learn my hair. So I went natural. Well, the last time I had a perm was two weeks before freshman year of high school. And then after that, I just let it grow out. I didn't do a big chop, and that's where you just cut off all the relaxed ends, you know, and then just rock the little fro for a minute. I just had it trimmed, you know, every so often when it needed to be, and then I just let it grow out. I let all the perm grow out. And even when I went natural, I was always straining my hair and that would cause heat damage, you know, and that's not good. So even with my natural hair, I wasn't doing the things that I was supposed to do to keep it healthy. And so sometimes I would have my mom braid out my hair, you know, but because I didn't know how to braid. I didn't know how to like braid to the scalp. So <clears throat> I would just like burn off my hair and then I was like oh my gosh my hair's still breaking off and I don't have a perm so I was like well let me figure out how to do bantu knots because I didn't know how to do those either and so one day I just got tired of it I was like I'm not waiting on my mom anymore <laughs> so I just sat in the mirror and figured out how to braid my hair and ever since then I've been braiding it and then doing braid outs or Bantu knots, I figured out how to do those, and mine come out really nice. This is actually day four Bantu knots. I went natural, what, three and a half years ago? Because I just wanted healthy hair. Um, I wanted strong, healthy hair. Um, I love the versatility that you get with natural hair, too, and I like that. And, yeah, I wanted healthy hair, healthy, long, beautiful hair. And so I went natural. When I was younger, my mom used to like perm me and my sister's hair all the time because I, I like in her generation perming your hair was such a good thing because it like chemically straightens your hair for you and so you can do whatever you want to your hair but when I was about I want to say 13 I decided to get dreads because I was tired of like my hair falling out and my hair looking bad and being unhealthy so I got dreads and then like the um the perm wore out and it grew out and then in my 12th grade year, I took my dreads out, so then I became natural. And I, I don't know how to do my hair with heat. Like, I, I hate heat. I'm afraid of it. Like, I'm still that little girl who would jump at the, the flat iron or the hot comb. I'm still her. So, it's like, I hated getting my hair straight. And then the only reason why I got a perm was because, in my mind, I'm very strategic. So, in my mind, I thought, okay, if I get a perm, my hair is already straight. So, I won't have to straighten it. Which was so wrong, <laughs> and um, yeah, so when I decided to go natural, it was after coming to college, again, not knowing how to do my own hair, and funny enough, okay, the Lord blessed me because my roommate was a cosmetologist, okay, she went to hair school and everything, so every week she did my hair, but um, when she left, I was now natural because I didn't have any perm in my hair, but I had all of the um, relaxed ends, all of the probably heat damaged ends. And so I remember saying, you know, this summer I'm not going to put any heat on my hair, which is easy again because I don't know how to use heat. But I didn't let my mom put any heat on my hair. And um, after being natural for like a year, my mother was in love with my hair. So was my dad. I think it's important for us as black women to feel comfortable with our natural hair. And I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a perm. If I think women should do what they want with their hair, regardless if it's natural or perm, dreaded or weave or whatever, whatever makes you happy. I think that if you're comfortable with your natural hair, if it's not like a fear of it being bad, then you still should have that option to say, well, I want to perm my hair because I'm not going to lie, natural hair is very time consuming. It's not the easiest thing to do, but I think it's important for us to or to at least set an example for young black girls so they don't have to feel like their, ha their hair has to look straight and blonde for them for it to be beautiful. And I think that we could just continue sharing what we do with our hair, have little natural hair meetups and stuff like that, especially on campus. I think that would be very helpful for because there's plenty of girls who've been natural for years and still don't know how to take care of their hair. So I think just continuing encouraging everybody in no matter the texture or whatever, just let black women know that it's okay to wear your hair natural. You don't have to look like Tracy Ellis Ross 
for your hair to be good. Yeah, I agree with that. And I also say that natural hair is a connection for all black women. Like it's something that you had talk about and it's something that you can go up to someone and have a conversation with someone and just get to know someone else. And I think it's a very good thing if you choose to go natural and it's something you want to do. I feel like it's empowering and it feels, it, it gives you, I don't know, it's just a sense of pride, me personally, that I feel good about my hair and I feel good about who I am. But that, not to say if you have a perm, you don't feel good about who you are. That's just what you prefer. If you prefer a perm, that's fine. I don't have anything against anyone with a perm. If you want to be natural, that's fine as well. It's just all about what you want to do and not about what society says is good hair, bad hair, what society says you should do, what's professional, what's unprofessional. It's just all about what you want. So I'm telling, I want to tell the youth, Embrace you, girl. Do you. You know, do whatever you want to do. Just don't conform to what society feels is beautiful, what society thinks is okay, what society thinks that should be should be everybody's norm, you know, because it's not. We can do so much more. Two women of color with multi-textual hair types embrace what you have wear it and wear it well and be you not every product is for every individual so find what works for you